just off the record. There should be a place. There you go. There you go. Now, now we're recording. recording. Now we're recording. And we're live. Okay. Thank you, Joanne. You're welcome. <laughs> Do we want to see this again? Tell us about I'll, your favorite client. I'll give you props for that one. <laughs> um, I have a couple. We were offline. I know. Okay, fine. I'll give you props too. Give me, give me um, props. I have I have a, a few really awesome clients that I've been working with for several years. And, you know, it's the relationship is more of a collaborative um, relationship. So, you know, it's not this, I do everything and I don't tell them anything or, you know, they don't really collaborate with me. So it works out well that way. Mostly they're actually one is, both of them are service-based. Um, companies so and you're it's Q-box, there you use it yep oh. Q-box, Q-box mm -hmm. for quickbooks desktop and box.com for file sharing so anytime they want to share any files with you you get your statements and that type of thing yeah so like bank yeah. yep bank statements um even depend well we're having trouble um pulling in the, the downloads from the bank and in, directly into QuickBooks. So we just saved the file in the box.com folder and then I import it in. Nice. Doing, um, yeah, so it's easier that way. And then I have a little bit more control. So it's just a matter of her going in, downloading it, the file, and then I'll putting it in, in the box and I'll go get it. And so you do not have the password to the bank or anything. They do that. So one client, I have everything. One client, I go in and I write my own checks and she prints them. And then the other client, she does it because it's just easier. Okay. Plus, in, a, in addition to that, you know, when you, you're you using those online, like a, the small banks, when you're using those online banking systems, you have to authenticate the computer that you're doing it from. And to not have to go through that hassle, I would prefer that the import like if it was a Bank of America, it wouldn't be a big problem. But even that, there's a couple step authentication. So then I'd have to register my computer. So when I'm doing it, I go through the same, you know, the same steps. Because right. we're not pulling it in through QuickBooks because we've been having trouble with that. So I right. would have to log into their online account and then download the file anyway. So if they're you in there, yes, yeah. If they're looking for stuff in that, you know, they're going into their bank account anyway, it makes no sense for them to just go in, download the statements, download all that, and then pass it and on. And then they just save it to Dropbox. Yep. Or not no, Dropbox. No, not Dropbox. Box.com. I'm actually closing my Dropbox and moving everybody out of that. Um, I'm going to give you props year. for that. I'm going to give you props awesome. for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So... And then I have, and then I have a few bookkeeping. I'm sorry, tax clients that are just friggin' awesome. They just so I know. Think we get next year more clients exactly like that. Yes, that's my goal. <laughs> that's my goal. Dennis, if somebody else to wants to jump on. Okay. Well, actually, there. I'm getting feedback. There are a, a couple clients, and. The common, boys, the common denominator is is that they follow they they will use the portal. They will pay my bill online. They will give me good feedback. They pay on time, um, as a, opposed to people that are not my favorite clients that don't do all that I'm so who, on my think about your one specific client that you like um probably the one that lives back in new york she was my client before she moved back there so i kept her and she's their return is complicated Kind of did this feedback. Um, Sorry about that. We're not hearing feedback. Yeah, we're not getting any feedback. Well, I'm getting in my ears, and so it's kind of just kind of distract distracting when I'm talking. Um, just basically people that work the way I, I want to work with them. That 
um, follow directions. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Okay. We'll, we'll try and bring someone else. Let's see if okay. we can get someone else on. I'm oh, not sure if we're going to get Dwayne. I'll get it. Looks like he's the heartbeat. Okay. Nancy, ask to come in. We've got an open seat. Oh my God, that's awful. <laughs> What's awful? I'm not sure. While these guys are trying to get in, Joanne, tell me about your best client. Uh, my best, you know, I was been thinking about this all week and I, I have two clients. The one client that I would say is my best client. Uh, and it's actually for, it's actually kind of for a different reason, but the best client that I have was my very first client. And I, the, the story behind me starting my business was when I lost my job. And this client came from, came, or I was working with this client at the firm that I was that I was previously employed to, and she had dropped the work off at my house because she didn't know I had gotten let go. So she would always drive to my house and drop the stuff off. And she saw me, you know, I she goes, "Here's the stuff," and I'm like, "Oh, you didn't hear? They didn't tell you? I no longer work there." And she was like shocked. She started crying. She got all upset. And so, and I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might, you know, have to do some stuff myself. This is before I actually decided to, you know, start my business. And she, she says, oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. She goes to her car. She comes back. She takes out her cash bag and gives me $800 in cash. Wow. That, and said, that would make a favorite client for me. And said, whatever, you know, if you're going to be doing this on the side, I want you to do my work. So she has been with me. She was my very first client. I do her stuff once a month. And so she kind of holds a special little spot for me for that. Um, the second client that is my favorite client is one that I recently picked up over the past year and a half. And Recently, I'm doing a lot of training with her because she wants to learn. She's been using desktop all wrong. Guys, she has been using desktop 2002. And we had to upgrade her from that old version up to 2015. So I am reintroducing to her into actually how to do QuickBooks correctly and how to you know record her loans, the principal and interest, and I'm showing her how to do payroll. And so that's been a real joy because she's a really good learner and she's she's I, I get, she, and she's getting it. And she's she's getting excited because she's just like she's like one of the very few people who really can truly appreciate because it is a fairly large business all the information that I'm giving her and how I'm showing her how to read the financial statements and stuff. Like she's never been shown that before. So she's really getting that she's learning more than QuickBooks with me. She's learning almost accounting 101, <laughs> you know, like a step above bookkeeping. She's learning financial statements and how to read them and all that fun stuff. So she's constantly just so appreciative. So I, I think that's the common denominator is the clients that are so appreciative of your of your services. And and Thera says it's fun when they get it. You know, that's really true. And, and it does make a difference. What I'm hearing now is the conversation back and forth that you're having with your client. Yep. Yep. It's it's you know and it, it means a lot when you get that positive affirmation that they are getting it because there are some people that, and I'm sure you guys all come across these people. There are some clients that you start working with and you just know they're not going to get it. Like, right. you just know, they do not have that skill set to do that. And what I do is I, I just have the come to Jesus moment with them and say, I don't think this is, <laughs> I don't think this is your best option. No offense, but we might want to look for somebody else to do this for you or outsource it to us. But I, I would hate to, cause I would hate them to invest four or so hours of training with me to have them all of a sudden say, okay, Joanne, I give, just do it for us. 
you know, right. trying to save them some money. And some people take my advice and some people don't. So that's, that's okay. So what, what QuickBooks are you using? I'm assuming you're using QuickBooks. Not all of yes. your clients are QuickBooks. You no. have FreshBooks? No. Nope, I don't use FreshBooks. GoDaddy? GoDaddy and some people. Yep. And, and what are the other programs you use besides QuickBooks? Mostly QuickBooks desktop. I have GoDaddy. I have Wave Wave app accounting. Wave, okay. Uh, and um, then I have some people that I just have a really uh, specific spreadsheet that I have set up for them because they cannot function inside of an accounting software. So I have it set up where they put everything inside of this magic spreadsheet that I set up, and then I just copy and bulk upload it, or you know, do the bulk posting with desktop and just bulk copy and paste and then everything automatically goes right into QuickBooks. Like it takes me 10 minutes. So right. those clients that don't want to bother at all with desktop, learning the QuickBooks, I just show them how to enter things inside of a spreadsheet and, and, it, and it ties out exactly into their chart of accounts and everything. Yeah, Sarah says smart sheet would be good for that. Yeah, but I use Google Sheets, Sarah, and Google Sheets is free. <laughs> and my clients like free. Hence, that's why they don't want to pay for an accounting software. <laughs> GoDaddy. Okay. And then the other question that Sarah asked, GoDaddy is an accounting program. GoDaddy has a thing called GoDaddy Bookkeeping, Sarah. It's very, it's a very, um, it costs like $10 a month. It, it syncs with all their bank accounts. And the people that I have set up on GoDaddy are mostly the people that just get paid a commission that automatically goes into their checking account and that they mostly use their debit card for all their transactions. And also it works good with uh, PayPal. It syncs PayPal really well. And so I have a few people that we sell online like eBay stores and it kind of memorizes names and stuff fairly well too. So can't argue with free. I know. See, I'm. We were discussing this last week, trying to down downplay all of the apps and stop paying for apps that you're not using. And uh, yeah, I'm actually trying to convert. I'm trying to convert everything to Google Sheets and stuff because I don't want to pay for Office three, whatever it is, three sixty, three sixty five. I just don't want to pay that 10 bucks a month anymore. So looking for free. Looking for free. I sound like I'm making even more. Mm -hmm. Sarah yes. says she's not going to call in because the road noise is really loud. Okay. That's okay. So we'll what try and bring Nancy. And what about Dwayne? Let's hear about Dwayne's favorite. Dwayne, can you talk? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can. Okay. My favorite clients are the clients that comply with my workflow or if they're willing to take, you know, good, uh, direct, uh, oh, direct directions and, and re, you know, and reply, you know, in a timely manner and work kind of like as a team to try to get whatever type of project that they need to get done, done, whether it's tax yeah. preparation or whether it's accounting. Okay. Nice. Unfortunately. Yeah. The majority of the clients that I have don't comply with that. <laughs> so yeah, I know. It's rare and it's enjoyable when you get one that does. So there's the few and the far between, right? <laughs> That's true. So you really appreciate. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about your favorite I've, client. My, I've got one favorite client. A tax. I'll, I'll use a tax client for one. Okay. I got one favorite tax client. He pays his estimated tax taxes on time. When it's time for him to give me all of his information, he gives them to me. Uh, any additional work that has to be done, he pays it on time. He gets the return done. He gets his payments out. He does everything that I ask him to do when it comes to tax planning or tax strategies. He's my favorite client. Nice. Okay. So this is your tax client. What tax program do you do? I'm sorry? Tax program. Oh, okay. I'm... I'm in a transition. I, I was using Drake for quite a few years. Before that, I used LaCert. And then I've been playing around with ITO uh, based upon Dennis's recommendation. And so I've been kind of playing around with that. And so I'm 
I'm not sure if I'm going to go with Drake or go with ITO or go with both and then see how things work out at the end of tax season and then make a determination which one I would go with. Nice. But ITO works pretty good. And so I've been very impressed with it, but I like Drake as well. So, you know, we'll see. I love, I love Drake. I use Drake. Yeah. Yeah. It's good software, isn't it? I know. Well, you know what the beauty, the beauty of it is, I mean, and I don't know, I'm sure you're the same as me. Their customer support is stellar. It's excellent. That's oh my, excellent. you can ask them just about anything you can imagine and they, they got an answer for you and they can help you through it. It's, they're just so great to work with on customer support. So. Into a customer support is something to, something else to be desired. I mean, it's not as good as it could be, you know what That's I mean? That's true. Yeah. But Drake's support is really good. I've gotten to know some of them by first name, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so I. <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> yeah. So how do your clients get your information to you? Do they drop it off at your office? I'm sorry? How do your clients get information to you? Oh, oh. either they uh, they upload it in my portal or they mail it to me. Or I go pick it up because I do a little bit of con I started out my practice as kind of a concierge practice. And I would go to the client, pick up their information, go work on it, and then bring back the finished product to them. That's how I got started. That's nice. So nice. I do a combination. A yeah. Yeah, the majority of my clients, uh, I'm local. Most of my tax clients are local here right in Syracuse. So they, because we do a lot of tax planning and stuff, it's mm -hmm. we go through they usually come to the office the majority of them come to the office and drop their stuff off and i go yeah. through everything with them make sure they're not missing anything and then send them on their way and right. then i'll get them the stuff after the fact but. i i kind of moved around so a lot of my clients are anywhere from uh i'd say anywhere from 25 miles to 500 miles away so mm -hmm. i have to try to use a combination of things to try to get their information so that i can work on their their uh, returns or work on their accounting. Yeah, Dennis says that he, for his senior citizens, he will meet them personally as opposed to using his portal. He has one client that's in Shanghai, China. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, you, 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 know, know, you don't want to fly there, Dennis, to meet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of hard to, to meet locally, huh? But you know- Yeah, I haven't, I, that's I, actually interesting, Dennis is, um, cause I know, did, Dwayne, do you use a portal? Yes, yeah, I do, I okay. use a share file portal. Yeah. Okay. Cause I don't use a portal. I only have a very few clients that I would have to do that with. And I kind of use box for my, for my portal. Right. Uh, so I haven't, um, I haven't jumped into that yet. Cause I just, I haven't wanted to invest. Well, you know, something you know in I try to play it by ear because I've got kind of a mixed bag of clients. Some, yeah. are, some are kind of it challenged and some of them are mm -hmm. not. And you know the, the younger ones are more IT literate, and then the older ones that are more my age are in the senior class. Then you know right. I, I go to them and pick up their information because when right. when you start talking about them trying to to work with the internet and work with portals and stuff, they get a little crazy. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, they get very frustrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, I, and for me, it's just like I just want to get the stuff already. Just get me the information. <laughs> So. Well, that's you're right because you want to try to get it done and get it going right yeah yeah but you know what look like i said the most of my clients i find it easier to they come here we meet for literally it it may be a 15 minute to a half an hour meeting i go through all their stuff we've talked and here's the difference between my practice and probably a lot of other people's tax practices is that i only do taxes for people who have a business, number one, and number two, that business has engaged me to do something with their QuickBooks file. So uh, I don't I do not do like H&R Block, just bring in a whole bunch of individual returns like 1040s and you know W-2s and schedule, no. You have to have either an S Corp, a partnership, a Schedule C affiliated with your return before I'll do it. So that's kind of how I make my tax season a little bit more well, that's uh, cumbersome. Smart. Plus, I make plus I make good money on those returns, <laughs> and I'll do stuff for friends or like their kids. Like if they have kids' returns or something like that, I will do their returns. But yeah. the person coming in has to come to the table with 
a business that needs my help with regarding to QuickBooks. You know, that's even better because that way you don't have seasonal cash flow. You have cash flow all year round. I have cash flow. Yeah. And more importantly, my tax season is a lot easier because I've done the QuickBooks and it ties out. I don't well, have to work. I, it ties out at the end of the year because right. it's already been done. You know what's been done, right? Yep. I exactly know what's been you done. You don't have to guess if somebody else did the book. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, okay. Nancy says, depends on the client uh, for portals. Uh, some she uses share file, others she just has them email me the info or she'll log in remotely and transfer stuff through team viewer. Uh, Dennis, oh, he's in here. He's mentioned uh, smart vault to store his files and move them to his portal when necessary. That way I can remove the file from my portal, but still have a backup copy in smart vault. Yeah. That's I've heard a lot of good things about smart. Especially, especially if they don't pay me. Yeah. <laughs> Pull it right out. <laughs> Sorry. Because I did. I, I did that. With one client. That would not be classified as your favorite client. No. He was overseas for about six weeks. He was telling me there was no internet connection. So I took it out of his portal. But then when he paid me, I put it back in. Do you follow the return before they pay you? I have been. Usually on first-time clients, I try to get half. But... It was like the 15th of October, and I was just trying to get things e-filed. So normally I don't, but on new, on new clients. Isn't there some type of a rule that you're not supposed to do that? What's that? You're not supposed to withhold tax filing stuff for non-payment? Well, technically, they haven't, they haven't, I'm not the paid preparer, you know. That's right. If you're not, oh, okay. you're not a Dennis, yes. Dennis, do you use smartphone in an interactive way? You mean Meaning with clients? That, yeah, with your clients. Yeah. No, I use my portal for that. Mm -hmm. I use smart. Well, it's kind of like a working area uh -huh. that's secure. You know, it's I map it on my computer, uh -huh. and then it. It looks like it's on my computer, but it's really up on the smart vault. Okay. The so, one thing I found, it's hard to make PDF changes in smart vault and have it stick. Okay. I have to do that on the hard drive and then move it to smart vault. Oh, okay. Did you... Did you go through a decision process to pick Smart Vault over ShareFile, or is it you just automatically just went to Smart Vault? Name recognition. I've been oh. <laughs> plus plus I got a Pro Advisor discount. It's like thirty five bucks a month for like a hundred gig. You know, it's pretty reasonable. So it was a special deal for the Pro Advisor. That's why I picked it. Did it take a long time for the setup? Uh, not really. I mean, I had to I had to copy things from my hard drive to the to the smart ball, but once that was done, it was pretty easy. So you did all the organizing; they didn't advise you. No. Oh, okay. So I'm not really saying a whole lot. I think I'm echoing. <clears throat> just let you guys carry the conversation. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Um, Sarah said she invited Bev. Oh, let's see. Nancy's still having trouble. Nancy, a couple of things that you might be able to check as far as tech stuff on your end that keeps you from being able to come in here is um, the internet feed if you're on Wi-Fi versus a hard wire. A lot of times the Wi-Fi might be a little bit iffy to get your video feed through here. I see um, Linda's not here. There were two folks yeah, in I the hangout. I didn't yeah. see Linda try and come on. I know she doesn't like clap. I'm trying to see who else is in here. Well, I'm getting this terrible feedback in my ear, so it's pretty distracting. Is it do you have your do you have your speakers turned on? No, nope. just trying to think. Turn your speakers off or turn turn your volume down. I just don't I have my speakers on. It's just echoing. Because mm, I'm not hearing any echo. 
Yeah. That's why if there's got to, it's something with your microphone and your speakers. Could be. Try muting your microphone and seeing um, if you hear the echo when you mute the microphone. It's like a process of elimination. Um, just a second. So none of these platforms are perfect. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. I can't can you hear still? you, so. Oh. Now can you hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Check one, check, check two. I can hear <laughs> Doing I can the hear, audio check. I can hear you now. Yeah, are, are you, do you still hear the, hear the feedback? Um, I'm trying to, not, well, yeah. Uh, can you hear, Misha, hear feedback Misha now? says check to see if you have your cell phone near. Move your cell phone away. That could be. That could have something to do with it well, too. Rhonda joined us. I can see her there. I can um, get I can get out if she wants to get in. Do you want to come in, Rhonda? Help me, Rhonda. Me help, help me, Rhonda. Maybe Gina, do you want me in? in. You want to um, we're on time, right? end a little early today. Do you um, want me? To, do you want me to come out? Dropping off. Yeah, why don't you pop out, Dwayne, and we'll see if we got anybody else that wants to come in. We'll see if Sarah gets in, or and then if not, yeah. we'll bring, we can bring you back in. Here comes Rhonda. We'll see if Rhonda can get in. Able to get in that got in today, which is disappointing. Yeah, I don't. Like I said, it's it's something where maybe we can work on it afterwards and play around with their 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 settings to see why they're not able to get in. Let's see. Zoom is perfect. What Nancy says, Wi-Fi, it's been crappy all day, all, all of a sudden. Can you hear me? Lin yep. Hi, hey, Rhonda. Rhonda. Hey. Linda posted she couldn't get in. Uh, let's see, Nancy. Donna and Susan Slayton were over in the Google Hangout. <laughs> Misha says Zoom is perfect. <laughs> I love it. Nancy. Hey, oh my got god, I got in all of a sudden. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. Well, I was getting ready to flip my computer the bird. It was a good thing I didn't because that's what <laughs> that's you would have seen. That's funny. Uh, Sarah is losing her battery. No battery. That's and funny. she's six miles from home. Oh man. I always have the, people in my office. Yeah, what's up with the black gloves? My husband is window washing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. Yes. The and black my, my parents are here visiting from Vegas, so he was in as well. <laughs> nice. And it's loud. I know. That's what, a home invasion. Said, yeah, I thought you had a home invasion. That's what I was saying. I'm like, who's the guy with the black gloves behind you? Watch out, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, they're thinking wait, wait. that you're doing a home invasion. Have we all been watching too much Criminal Minds? I think so. <laughs> I think so. That's funny. Well, the question of the day, Rhonda, is who is your favorite client? Your answer will be a little bit different than ours, but you can still answer this. Um, well, I'm trying to turn down the music here so we could, like, actually hear. Oh, there we go. Uh, perfect client. Um, I have a few right now, um, ones that just don't stand over us hovering and watching every move that we make and telling us how to do it. Because if they're telling us how to do it, why are we doing it? <laughs> um, and oh, there's a dog. And let's see, the other one... Uh, she just pays like crazy. <laughs> Can't complain there. That's really about it. Yeah, customer's always right. <laughs> well, in your instance, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> that it, it is pretty true. Yeah. But you know, whoever came up with that adage didn't do any business owner any favors. No, none. No, that's true. Nancy, I don't think you've answered the question for us. Oh, my favorite client is one that wants to learn. The yeah. one that wants to learn. Yep, the, the one that wants to learn how to do it right will make a commitment to whatever time is necessary in order to learn. 
rather than the one who thinks they just ought to always bail them out or do it for them. The consensus across the board from everybody. Yep. Um, Someone to take your advice and listen to you. Yeah. Um, perfect example. Early this summer, we picked up a trial customer out of California. Really nice lady from from Colombia, South America. She speaks three languages. And English isn't good. <laughs> English, it, it, it is if she slows yes. down. Okay. If she's excited, she talks in all four. And at first we kind of, um, we butted heads. And then she, she turned around and she said, I want to hire you to help me set up my, help me fix my QuickBooks. And I said to her, you know, I don't know if this is going to work. I, you know, I, I have one language. Some days I chop that all to, you know what, <laughs> you know, and, and I said to her, I tell you what, we'll try it. And here's the agreement. If either one of us feel like we just want to, throttle the other one it, it's done that was back in june where we're still doing things together and she she literally has become my absolute favorite client dennis says the ones that i don't like are the ones who don't listen and wait till their hair is on fire before they pay attention <laughs> oh my god i i totally agree with dennis the, the ones who, oh, my God, I have an emergency on my part because I should have done this three weeks ago. And today you have to make it your priority because, well, I've just been doing other stuff. And that means they want it to be your priority at that point. Yep. <laughs> right. Uh, I have three monitors. I have no idea which one to look at. You're looking at the wrong one. Look look to the one to your right. The problem is right this, there. This is the one. Except. Yeah. And then I can't see you guys. Oh, wait, I can move my screen. Oh, yeah, move your oh, screen. There we go. There you go. Hello there. Oh, wow. Well. I was like, what's wrong with this? So I think that's the one tech thing that I'm frustrated with is I don't want this camera. I want this one because I have a better angle up here. Mm -hmm. And it's brighter. It's a, it's a better cam. It's a better camera. It's brighter. Uh, and I can't figure out how to switch it. To, I'll, I'll have to play with it afterwards, but what, whatever. But yeah, so, so you have three monitors. You, do you How many monitors have a, a your camera? All. They all have cameras. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nana wants to come in too. I can, I can get out. No, 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 no. He's not even on lab yet. Oh. There's a lot of people that are having a hard time just getting to Blab. Yeah, Linda, I'm not sure what's out. happening with her, but it sounds like she's on a Blab of her own. Uh, <laughs> Donna's trying help. to get in, and I'm not sure Sometimes. where she's at. So Sometimes. I'm going to say again, um, I put the links in the Facebook event. I think everybody should be uh, on the Facebook, S-P-A-A. -A. Do not let me know. I'll make sure that I get there. I thought I put everybody there, but I saw some people that I thought were there were not. So let me know if you need the link and invite. Um, same for uh, Slack. I think everybody should be on Slack at this time. I'm planning on putting the links whenever we have a hangout or Zoom or whatever. The links will be in both Slack and the Small mm -hmm. Business Accounting Associates um facebook page mm -hmm. so we missed a lot of people um larry didn't think he was going to be in and he's here he would love to come up to him Linda. well i tell you what i'll i'll hop out and we'll let larry in well larry's Bye, not guys. here i mean you wouldn't oh he's not i thought he's very top you see those little circles yep um, the people that are here, Rhonda, Linda, Nancy. I'm talking to Larry and Linda via the hangout, the chat the hangout. The hangout, thingy, the mobber. Uh, uh, yeah, Brandon's there too. 
not able to get in. So again, a lot of people not able to get in to platform is disappointing. But why why can't they get in? Is it because because Brandon should be able to get in here? He should be able to come in. They should all be able to come in. I'm not. What's sure what I'm saying, but maybe it, if they still have that Google Hangout open, that could be part of the problem. I'm not. Sure. I, could not get, I, I, I could not get into this. I could not get into this until I shut my Google down. Okay, that was what I did. I, I got frustrated and I closed the window for Google Hangout, and then I was going to flip it the bird, and mm -hmm. then all <laughs> of a sudden there I was. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So that they could be still hung up. Their video and stuff could still be hung up inside that Google world. I don't know. Maybe Google Hangouts doesn't like Blab because Blab's trying to take it over. But. Linda but there you go. She's not Google. See and hear Blab that she is not. And that's so odd because usually we see the little icon at the top. So she can see us, but she's not actually in the lab. Well, she's in it because her face is showing up here right above you. Right above me? Linda? She's just not. She yeah. Her her face is oh, right. In the, okay. Her okay. circle's right here, so she's in here. She just hasn't clicked to come. Well, we haven't had an open seat, but she could click to try to see if she could get into one of the open seats. Okay. I can get out, so she can try to see if she can come see in. See if she can get in. Yeah. Hold. On. Well, thank you, Rhonda. We'll see you next time, Linda. Try calling in in the center yeah. where there's a blank. Try to try calling try to in. Sit on that. There is an open seat now. Yay. Yep, there is an open seat now. There we go. Yay. I think Donna was the other one that wanted to come in. I expected to see Laura here too, and she hasn't shown up. So, Christina, Brandon. I'm trying Brandon. to see who else is on. There's not on there. Yeah. We're no about out of time. I'll hang out for a little bit longer and see if we can get Linda in. But oh, oh, oh. I, I see Linda like pulsing. Heart beating. Right, yeah, her right. heart. <laughs> She's not, hasn't come in all the way, though. This is what you were doing before, Nance. Uh, you yeah. Were doing the whole thing. It, 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 yeah, it, it was like my heart was beating, my my little my little blabbing heart. Yeah, I I would try this. This I mean seriously because if she's still typing in that little Google area, I would X out of that whole Google screen. Oh, you think any Google open? I'm just because that's what I had to do. I couldn't. This other computer still is not able to come into the blab, and it's got Google open. It could be just a coincidence, though. I don't know. I didn't okay, know. well, next week we're back to regular hangout, and then I think the week after that we're going to try Zoom again. We're going to do Zoom Everybody again. To love Zoom. So I, have been, try Zoom. I have been Zooming all week. You've been Zooming all week? I have been Zooming with a ton of people all week long. I actually purchased, I actually purchased the Zoom. I liked it so much. So okay. I am an official, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an official card-carrying member of Zoom now. Okay, well, next week will be a regular hangout. The week after that, we'll do the. Uh, in January, we're going to start our month demos again. Uh, I've talked to Taxify. Eric and Leith uh, will be coming and demoing their product for sales events. Uh, so think about any other kind of demos that you want. And Joanne, I think you're elected for 17 hats. I've heard a couple oh, people not. say that they wanted you back for 17 hats. All right. Okay. No problemo. All right, everybody. I think we're going to sign off for today. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye, -bye.